What could you do on these? On those? Yeah. I mean, I put them up on offer up for 250, but you can offer me. Sheesh. Got it out of the mud, I had no car, no plus. Yeah. And it's amazing, yeah. Getting paper, yeah. Hope I didn't mess up the camera. What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Rare Kicks. We back in the field. Finna do another sneaker meetup, man. We at the Best Buy parking lot. <laughs> Finna see uh, if somebody's here. He, he's supposed to bring a, a, a lot of shoes or something. I gotta go to the, uh, go to the bank, get some cash, take some cash out. So, you know, I got that guap on me. He talking about. So, now he finna, uh, he talking about. No, I'm just playing. I had to go to the bank to get some cash. I'm going to a sneaker event this weekend. And you know I'm a cash out. So... Had to get right. This dude over here cleaning his car. This this hella dude standing outside, so I really don't know where bruh is for the meat. I ain't trying to make it look like I'm recording, bruh. Him over there. What? Your barbers? Say your barber. Oh. Speaking of bread. Am I due for a cut? Absolutely. You hard, boy. It's hit me, boy. You are. I can't even get a nigga compliment, man. Every, every time he says you hard, he doesn't mean it. I do he mean it sarcastically. He means it sarcastically. <laughs> you need chat, man. Yeah. Oh, that's gotta be him. This dude over there with shoes. Once you see a dude in the parking lot with shoes on the floor. Oh yeah, he's different. Yeah, you, you literally know. It's up, boy. Gonna see you go. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, my boy got the shoes out already. On the floor, jeez, how you tell that? All right, y'all. About to hand the camera over to Jordan. Talk to Brett, see what he on. Hopefully, he don't mind us recording. If he do, y'all will know because we just gonna tell you like it's a dub. Because. each of these i had him at 170. 70. i think that might be what they're going for like 160 170. but i have to check let me double check and make sure yeah now let you know what i can do for all these are these some two believe no oh these more yeah i got three of those, three of those. oh Swamp meets, so like, I probably built off over there. Oh, okay. Low key, low key, yeah. yeah. Spring Valley Swamp, and I know what you're talking about. I've been there before. Yeah. I went there, I, I think I bought some Kobe's from there. Somebody. How much are you looking for on these? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like worn right there. I don't know if I can go that high. Um, those are the ones I was gonna look up real quick. The nines. University nine. Yeah, they're going for like one sixty. Yeah, those for the Jordan nines. If you got three pairs of them, I would take them probably like like one ten. One ten. They going. They're going for about one sixty. I don't really. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on those then. Okay. Uh, how about one? What could you do on these? On those? Yeah. I mean, I put them up on offer up for 250, but you can offer me. Sheesh. Sneakers. 
<laughs> okay. So I was 11. These are the OG. Yeah, these are the OG joints. I was 11. Look, use like 145. I'm like a lot of you because like I'm not really. I'm not really no like, I'm not gonna try to finesse you or tell you oh, yeah, nothing yeah. sneaky. I'm gonna just keep it 100. Like, when it comes to this shoe, because of the star loss and everything, okay. and since this is the older release, yeah, and the, the 2016 release is going for more than this pair, uh -huh. I normally be a little lower than like 200, so probably like 150 on these. Even 180 is probably normally higher than I'd go. And like, yeah. this, yeah, it's got some scuffs on it. I, I don't know for a fact that that'll come off. Yeah. And if it doesn't, that's a pretty major flaw. Yeah. So I probably, yeah, 150 is probably the best I could do for these. 150. I would take these for 150. That's probably the most I could do. That's, and I'm hoping I could get that, that off. But like, like I said, that's a big flaw. If I can't, if I can't get that off, I'm basically looking at selling these for 160 myself. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, hold off for right now, but I'll think about it. Okay, that's okay. cool. Uh, what about these? Um, <laughs> those are like breaks. They're going for like what, like one thirty? Yeah, they're going for like a, a retail, like a hundred. They're going for like a retail. Yeah. Well, I just got these from you yesterday. What sixty? I mean, what were you thinking on those? I just got a pair from him yesterday. I thought it's ten and a half for sixty. For sixty? I, I got it on my story. I can show you. I posted my story for hundred. Yeah, yeah. For hundred. So like, I'm I'm really looking at just. Yeah, this is 10 and a half, two, I do 60 for those two. I grab these right. for 62, and those 150. I'd probably grab these for 62. I don't even know how much these go. I'm assuming these are going for retail too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, these are used. Are these used or DS? These red ones? These are DS. Which ones? These, uh, uh, these are DS, yeah. Okay, yeah, I can do 60. These used, I'd take these for like 40. Yeah. I would do 60 on these two. Let's see. Can you do 160 on the cement or not? Honestly, I'm gonna be able to. Real talk, I would do that if it didn't have this cup. Yeah. With this cup, yeah. I, I, I'm firm at 150. But I'm thinking, like I said, I, maybe if we add a bunch of, you know, some other stuff, it'll make it worth it for you. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll give these to you for 150. Okay. And then, what about these? Those. Seven and a half. Surprise. I've honestly never bought a used pair of these, so let me let me see what would be a smart investment. It's a size 11 and a half. That's new is at like 150. Uh, Orange used to 70 on these. Like 70, 60, 60, 40, 150. Yeah, yeah. Add it all up, probably be, maybe it's hopefully worth it for you. Uh, maybe these, these used too. Yeah. I'd run 60 on these too since they're used. I don't think you're buying guns, right? Like, oh, I mean, guns. I do. These are actually kind of clean. Okay, yeah. I've never seen these in person. Me either. Yeah. These are the same reds. Oh, these are different. What size are these? Uh, eight and women. Oh, eight women? Yeah. These are not bad. Yeah, yeah not bad. The girl different bottles. The snake, you selling the snake skins? Is that the red box or is that regular? Oh, uh, this is the, the OG box. Oh, wow. Oh, these clean. How much you want for these? I had them at like, like 120. I might be able to grab these off you. I like these. Let me see. Uh, I'll check market on these. So 6Y. 6Y? I'm gonna go to grab this off you. Alright. Let me see what I could, uh, I could do. Uh, what is this called? Snake skin 11. Whoa. Them the navy snake skins? Yeah. 7Y you said? 6Y. Oh, 6Y, yeah. okay. Get a six one. Use that ninety five. Uh, could you throw those in for eighty? Either one hundred. Let me look some more time. If they're clean enough, I might be able to run a hundred. 
That's the this is this OG box, right? Yeah. The bottoms don't look too bad. Get a little worn right there. That's Jason Marker probably fixed that. If there's no scuffs or flaws, I could probably do that. Yeah, these these clean. I'll do hundred on these. Uh, Wanna throw these in for 62? 60? Yeah, it's good rep box and like yeah. yellow and the creases. I had like when it's used stuff, I really look at the flaws really well. Yeah. I try to make sure it's, I can give the most value to my customer. Can you do 80? Um, I don't know about rep with rep box, I probably would be firm on 60. But if we like I yeah. said, we throw we do work out a good bulk. I still think it could be worth it for you, bro. Uh -huh. for 60 for those, because that's not really an easy move in that yeah, condition, yeah. no box, yellows, you know, creases and stuff too. I mean, do you think even these? I don't even know what you can go for. Like, That's either. Uh, I would have. I, I would have. That's a little too small. Yeah, I think those yeah. are like preschool sizes. Because they don't have the icy bottoms. That, yeah. that has to be like preschool. But I could do 100 on those for you. you do, uh, 60 on those. 60, 60, 150, 40, and 60. Really, all the used mids, I'm basically at 60. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, be real with you. I'll sell you these and these. Like, I think the rest I can probably flip them a little more. Mm -hmm. So, I can do these and the, and the cements. That's cool. If that's all you want to do, that's fine. Yeah. Any of them, any of them you want to negotiate on? I mean, yeah, 60 is just a bit far. Okay. I know they don't go for a lot, but yeah, it's good. Like, I get you got to make your money too. Yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather sell straight to the yeah, to somebody like a personal. Yeah, yeah. yeah somebody's just one personal. I so get for, it. Yeah, for personal, the, I mean, the mids will end up going for more. I really don't go Yeah. What about uh, these? Those, I mean, I said 180. I don't know, but. Uh, I'll I'd probably, I'd probably be too far off of those. What's, the, what's your lowest on the band mids? The band and the Chicago's. Band and the Chicago's? Yeah. Um, I could probably do like a hundred each, but that'd be like the lowest. That's the lowest. Yeah. You can do eighty each. Eighty. I'm gonna have to pass for that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't really know if you want these. They're kind of more beat, but like. Nah, you don't want to hear my offer. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear my <laughs> offer. I don't even want to do. Yeah, my <laughs> phone. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's gonna be those two then. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. Straight, yeah. That's right. Let's do that. So that'd be. 150 for one, so 250 for both of them. Yeah, I'll do 250. Right. I appreciate you though for pulling up and still bringing all the other pairs, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So you take a look at it. You got the price on the sign, right? Which ones? The, the pink ones or red ones? Oh, let me look. I'll look. I'll look up uh, the shoe right now and see. Are they DS? Yeah. And you said they're a 5Y? Mm. They're... Size 8. 8 and women's. So what, like a 6.5 and 9? Okay, okay. Oh, 8 women's you said. What are they called again? Satin, Satin reds. reds. Satin Reds? I actually never bought or sold a pair of those. Oh, here they go. Oh, damn. Oh, Siren Red Dunks. Oh, uh, yeah, the goat, they're looking kind of low on goat. I don't think I... Mean, I what are they going for? Uh, it's a size 8. 
Oh yeah, they, they're, not, they're going for like retail. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're going for retail. retail. I'll probably be at the same like the rest. I yeah, 60. Yeah. Alright, I'm not Yeah. But I'll definitely, I'll take these two though. That's cool. Yeah, I can do those two. Though. 100, 200, 250. 250. Alright, that's cool. Good? Yeah, that's cool. Appreciate you, G. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. Alright, man, All right. be easy, bro. Yeah, you too. Hey, Jason Mark hopefully can bring these back. I feel like. Let me show you how close we look at the shoes we just got. These uh, snake skins. I don't think 100 is too bad on them. I can clean up some of these little flaws. Clean up with the Jason Mark. Sell them for a little bit more. It's still pretty icy. Still got the shoe trees. You know what I'm saying? It's a more in demand, like a more sought after item, you feel me? That's why I passed on the other ones. If they were lower, like you see in the market, it wasn't really going for much, but they're also not in demand either. So to make those appealing to a customer, you gotta kinda have a good price. That's that's that's, that's what's gonna be appealing because the shoe itself is not too appealing to customers. You know, the condition is not too appealing because they're they're used. So you gotta make the uh you know what I'm saying? The price appeal. These, every, this is a classic, so that's why I cop these. 150 is not bad, size 11. You know what I'm saying? A couple scuffs on them. Hoping I can use to do something to, to fix that scuff right there. If not, I'll sell it to a reseller who knows how to restore and fix it, and I'll just sell it for like 150. I'm willing to risk it and get my, if I just have to get my money back or make 10, that's straight. But it's all good. I'm pretty sure I can at least sell the other ones for 150, so that's chilling. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, man. That was a good meet up. Get out of here. What? Oh, you're not signing out right here? Should I sign out right here? Yeah, well, where, was she, where was she gonna sign out at? I'm signing out on the wood. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we just leaving that last meetup, man. Honestly, it's like, I hope some of you guys watch this and learn from that type of thing. It's like, meetups like that, sometimes. The shoes just aren't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like he brought all those pairs. Yeah, that's like, you know, some people might get hyped up like, oh yeah, it's a bulk meetup. Like I'm about to get a bunch of shoes. But you don't have to secure deals just cause somebody has a bunch of shoes. That's only one thing. I'm oh, sorry, bro. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. I literally was like looking at my phone trying to stop the cloud. I knew it was gonna come. I was like, fuck, I couldn't find it. Uh, look at that. Good meetup, though. <laughs> like I was saying, let this be a lesson, not a lesson, but just look at this and kind of, you know, see what I do so that when you're doing bulk meetups, you know that, like, if your intuition is telling you that, oh, this shoe is not worth buying, don't just buy it because you're at a bulk meetup. That's one of the main things I was, I had to tell Jordan when he first started doing, like, bulk deals regularly, like, on the daily thing, was like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just, you just gotta pass. You just gotta pass. And when you do that, you end up getting a lot better deals and you end up doing a lot better and making a lot less dumb purchases or impulse buys. That's what I just, that's what I, now, now for me, it's almost easy because I'm just like, I see it and I'm just like, I don't want that. Like, I don't want that if it's not for 60. That's literally the attitude I had just that like, I don't want that if, I was, if it's not for 60. Which, another thing is, I don't care if he sells it to me or not because if he can make more money selling it to someone else and he doesn't need to take 60 for it or for anything like that, I'm like, by all means, he should make more money selling it to somebody else. Like, I'm not hating on that because me personally, if somebody want a pair of my courts for 240, I'm going to tell them I don't need to sell you no court purples for 240 because I know I can sell them for 300. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just how it is, you know? So we're not hating on none of that. It's just that I can't pay more than 60 for them mids because if it's not 60 it's not worth it to me because i don't want to have to move a mid that's used for over a hundred dollars that's just dead so he said his lowest probably be 100 each for the bands and the uh and the uh chicago mids and i would have ran that i would have ran that if they were ds but i just don't want no used mids for 100 you know what i'm saying 
So yeah, other than that though, I say it was a good meetup. Them cements, I kind of took a gamble on them, but for 150, it wasn't that bad. OG all, hopefully, I, I feel like I can clean that off. That's why I was like, I'm gonna run it. I feel like I can clean that off or find a way. Or, you know what I'm saying, like I said, if not, sell it into a reseller who does know how to clean it or does know how to restore, you know, restore sneakers or something like that. That light was killing me. Sorry if it's dark, y'all, but hell, the light was killing me. But yeah, sell it to a reseller that can restore shoes or something like that. Maybe he can fix them and then get 200 out of them. But like some of the, the prices he was asking, they just weren't worth it to me. They just weren't worth it. That's all it was. Do you think I slept on anything there? Mm. No, not really. The Chicago Miz, maybe. I thought about that too. Maybe yeah, the Chicago maybe Miz, Miz for a hundred. But let's let's check market. We'll check market for the Chicago Miz right now. Cause if I slept, I slept, bro. It is what it is. I'm gonna see. I know, but I just know the ones that I did get were smart purchases because cements people like cements, and that's a good move for 200. If uh if I can get those scratch it off scratches off, and they were clean. Other than that scratch, like they were super clean. Let's see. Uh, the snakeskins I know was a good purchase too, cause DS was at like three something, and they were super clean. And used was only was already at 100 for like beat as hell, no box, and they're OG all, they're clean, so honey, it's not bad on those. Uh, let's see, let's see what this, I'm looking up the Chicago mids on GOAT right now, and I'm gonna show you guys, so you can see what them hoes them at. They were the, the white heel mids, weren't they? Was they were size 11 and a half, wasn't they? Yeah. You slip. So there's a pair in here and use no box 150. There's a pair in here used perfect condition 170. What's that offer? Yes. Let's go use. Let's go use. Top offer for DS is 145. Yeah, I'm honestly not mad I passed on those, y'all. Y'all see top offers 145, last sale was 182 for dead stock. He wanted a hundred, so like, if I'd have paid a hundred, I'd be selling. Let me see what top offer is on the other side. Other sizes, one thirty-six, one forty-five, one sixty, one thirty, one fifty-six, one eighty-one. DS is selling from like one fifty to one eighty, so like at that point, it's like, do I want to sell the used pair for one forty? <sighs> Not really. I guess I could have. But for me personally, he would have had to go down to 80 for me to run it. If he would have did 80, I would have got both of them for 80 each because at 80, I can at least sell them for 120. And then it's like, okay, that's not too far from Lois' ass for DS, but you know what I'm saying? At least, it, you know, 80 is better, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I would have got them for 100, I'd sell them for 120 and make 20 off them, which I could. But just because they're a mid and they're used, it makes me not want to do it. Because I can, honestly, y'all, I've gotten a bunch of mids for retail and under retail for DS. You know what I'm saying? I just paid 60 for some DS lows from you. I've been paying 80 for dead stock mids. I've been paying 100, 110. So I was just like paying 100. It's not necessary, honestly. I could probably look on offer up and find some for retail. You know what I'm saying? Dead stock. So that's why I'm passing on those. Hopefully. Me telling you guys that can offer some sort of insight into maybe your decision making on your next meetups or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong too. If you think I'm dumb and I should have bought them, that could be the case. I don't know. I think I'll be fine without them though. And I'm happy with the purchases that purchase that I did end up making. What else did he have? Yeah, those fives were doves. <laughs> he did have the, yes. <laughs> those fazikes were a dove, but he did have the metallics. Oh yeah. I offered 60. What did he want on them hoes? He said he'd pass on them. Yeah, I don't think he was saying. But those were beat, yo. Like, they were piss yellow bottoms, rep box. Shoes like that, I only really pay 40 50 for, to be honest. And I know I can get them for 40 50 because I, all the time, that's a common shoe to get. Like, rep box, like, beat like that, creased. I'm straight off those. It was, it was, it's still, it's still worth the meetup though for the two pair that they get. Regardless of anything, I know for a fact that I, that I made 50 off those, uh, snake skins. Cause I, I know that those will sell for, for 150. So that's looking straight. That's looking straight. Yeah. The Honda dealership. We finna get him a Hellcat. The Honda dealership. Hey, <laughs> I'm playing. I wasn't copping on my man. Anyway. 
said the Honda dealership you nailed. I know. I said it was on purpose. It was a joke. It wasn't funny. I'm really not a funny guy, y'all. I know. Yeah, no, you're funny, bro. I'm funny? Yeah. Appreciate it. Are you looking? Anyways, y'all. Yeah, we, yeah we, we finna handle some business though. So we gonna get back to y'all next time, y'all. We gonna have some more sneaker video meetups dropping the live and raw ones just like how we always do, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned, appreciate y'all for watching. I'm signing out.